Honey, shouldn't you be getting back to work? No, this will be paid to me if they need me. Why are we still here? Is it Holly or the baby? They're the same thing. Are they? What does that mean? I don't know. Is it crazy to have such an investment in this baby? I know it's Luke's child. Somehow it's a small miracle to have even a piece of him. Are we putting too much importance on it? Is it fair? I mean, we've been doting on Holly. We've even said made sure it was a boy and a Spencer baby and Luke's wonder baby. Is it fair to put all that kind of pressure on her? That could very well be the reason why she's in here. Could be our fault. I think it's a combination of things, but it is the pressure from us, the pressure from Robert. It's probably the worst of all, the pressure from herself. You know what I think? I think we ought to stand back when she gets well. Be there if she needs it, but give her a little room to be herself. Yeah. I think I ought to lay off of Robert. I mean, what right do I have to tell him how to live his life? Well, you said you were going to apologize. I'm sure that'll do it. You know, Ruby, you're right. It is jealousy. Just now when you said we've got to back off, I started thinking about how we made all those plans to take care of Holly and to live with her. I think I'm blaming Robert for taking her away from us. Well, if he hadn't, she'd be further away. England. Oh, Ruby, I wish that this hadn't. I know, I know. I feel the same. I wish I knew this had ever, ever happened. Luke, no. I'll get a sedative. It's all right, Holly. Lie still. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Bye. It's all right. We're here. My baby. It's okay. It'll be all right, but you gotta lie still. Relax. Okay? Just relax. How is she? She's all right for the time being. I uh, noticed Dr. Mason's name on the chart. Uh, yeah. She's, she's attending. Gynecological problem? I don't know all of the details. I hope it's not too serious. It'd be terrible if one day she couldn't have children. You're keeping her sedated? Uh, yeah, for the time being. Uh, Dan, how would you like a cup of coffee? Fine, if you can tear yourself away. But we're just using up oxygen. Yeah, why don't you go ahead? I'll, I'll keep it. You hang in there, Barry. <laughs> Sedative's not working. It's abdominal pain. Please call Dr. Mason. <laughs> You're waving the right to counsel. I told you before, I have nothing to hide. I don't want or need a lawyer. It's for your own protection. Go ahead, ask your questions. I'm not going to change my mind. I hope I can expect the truth. Nothing but. So far, I've had nothing but lies. You've had that note in your possession for some time now, Heather. Tiffany found it in your jewelry box. Now, I want to know how you got it. Good old Tiffany, you turn your back. I asked you a question. Now, why were you concealing that note? Because I had why? to. Why? I don't know. You are afraid for Scotty? Afraid it might incriminate him? Yes! You wanted to protect him. I was scared. I knew what that when note meant. When did he give mean. it to you? He didn't. He had to. No! The only other way you could possibly have ever gotten that note, Heather, was if I you... I took it myself. I took it. I lied to you. That's right. I lied to you the night. I dropped my lipstick there that night. What night? The night Susan was killed. I was there, Commissioner. Mm. Yeah, about that. In an emergency, and I wanted to found Stas, Ruby. Yeah. And no, she could not have left the hospital because she hasn't signed out. Dr. to the fourth floor desk. Very well, stat. let me know immediately when you're Mason, fourth floor, stat. Thank you. Holly. Word just came down. What is it? Some kind of complication. We're having trouble finding that Dr. Mason. Is Bobby there with her? Yes, she is. Come on down. Let's go. Okay. Jesse, call Scorpio and see if you can get him over here right away. What have we got? She's having abdominal pain. Okay, now, Holly, we'll try to stay still, okay? That's the best thing. Please make it all right. Just take it easy. Relax, all right? Stay still. Okay, let's start at the beginning. You tell me everything that happened that night. 
I went to the cottage. Alone? Yes. What time? Oh, I don't know, around nine or so. I, I wasn't wearing a watch. Go on. The door was open, so I went in. I thought no one was there at first. Figured she wasn't home. And then I heard the water running upstairs. She was singing. I put that together with the running water and assumed she was getting ready for a bath. When I started for the stairs, I saw the note lying on the table. Called bank. Called the bank regarding Scotty's forgery. Put it back on the table and went upstairs. I decided I was going to have it out with her for once and for all. The note was the last straw. But when I was about halfway down the hall, I, I heard Susan's voice. She was saying, no, no, don't. And then there was a shot. The bedroom door started to open, so I went and I hid in the hall closet. I couldn't see anything, but I heard footsteps pass by. A person went down the stairs and out the door. I waited in the closet a couple of minutes. And then I went back into the hallway. Susan's bedroom door was open, so I went in and I could see the body. I knew right away what had happened, and all I could do was run. Well, I grabbed the note. And I was going to run to the door, but that's when I dropped my purse, and, and I lost the lipstick. I ran out of there, and I never, ever looked back. You never saw the murderer? I was in the closet. I couldn't see anything. Why did you lie to me about the lipstick? For the same reason you took the note and hid it? I wanted to protect him. Scotty? Yes. I was afraid he'd done it. Let's go back to the night in question. You are telling the truth, aren't you, regarding what you saw when you went up those stairs? Of course I'm telling the truth. But you were Scotty's lover. The last thing in the world you want to see is for him to go to prison. Maybe in your zeal to protect him. You shot Susan yourself. No, I am telling you the truth. I'm going to have to take you in, Heather. To jail? Custody. On what charge? Same as Scotty. Suspicion of murder. Heather. What? You heard. I don't believe this. Take it from me. I ought to know. You're putting me under arrest? Suspicion of murder. But you can't do it. I this. can and I will. That... I'm sorry, sir. It's important. We got a message from the hospital. Holly? She's taking a turn for the worse. You have a lawyer? Book her and then get the court for a point of one. Yes, sir. Okay, Holly, I know it hurts, but please, please try to lie still. The less you move around, the better. Is the pain worse? It's not that. I can live with the pain. To save my baby. I don't want to lose Luke's pain. It's about time. I came as soon as I got your message, Scotty. Well, where have you been? I have been out on business. Well, right now, I am your business. Well, you're not my only business, Scotty. Now, what is it that has you so worked up here? Scorpio took Heather away for questioning. So? So he can't do that. That really surprise you? Well, what does he want with her? Oh, come on, Scotty. It was bound to happen. You and I aren't the only ones that could figure out that Heather's a very likely suspect here. That's circumstantial evidence, that's all. That's all the police need. They're not trying the case, they're just gonna ask you some questions. Well, I'm not gonna let them pin this one on her. I think you should start worrying about your own problems, not hers. That's not the issue. It's the only issue as far as I'm concerned. You've gotta do something about it. What, me? Well, I can't do anything, I'm stuck in this cell. Well, from where I am, Scotty, neither can I. I'm already representing you, and I'll tell you the truth. I wouldn't take Heather as a client, even if I were free. Yeah, but she... I know how you feel about her, son, but I'm sorry. Will you do it for me, then? Now, come on. If she needs an attorney, the court will appoint one for her. 
Oh, yeah, that's terrific. She's going to get some idiot that just finished correspondence school. You, too, can become a criminal attorney in 30 days. Ah, you know better than that. What are we going to do? We're going to sit and wait. It's their move. We're not going to do anything until we find out what the commissioner has up his sleeve. 